I'm a Raider fan. I love Derek Carr. Now Jimmy Garoppolo is our quarterback, and I haven't given my take on it. But I'm not going to yet. I'm going to give you the floor. Jimmy Garoppolo to the Raiders. You're so nice for giving me the floor first. Cheers. <laughs> um, I think once I knew Carr was leaving. When do you think that was? Like week four? Yeah, <laughs> kind of. And they couldn't get Rodgers. This was the next best thing for them. So I think they did a pretty good job this offseason. And I think they should, should still draft a quarterback because even though Jimmy's he's a winning quarterback, one, he can't stay healthy, and two, you still have to build a franchise behind him and build a quarterback up. You could teach them, mentor them, and I think that's what the Raiders still need. But it's a really good fit for Jimmy. I think he's going to do really well in Vegas. Yeah, a lot of things come to mind initially. Have I talked a lot of shit on Jimmy Garoppolo in my life? Yes, I have. Okay? And <laughs> this is a cautionary tale of why you don't do that, just because you never know. You never know what's going to happen. Um, he has won a lot of football games. And people will say, well, have you seen the roster around him compared to the Raiders roster? And then to that, I would say, you got a good point. We don't exactly have their defense. Um, he does not stay healthy. He's only played... I think one full entire season in the San Francisco 49ers uniform. And was, he Was that the year they went to the Super Bowl? That's correct. And I loved mentioning the fact that he only threw like 12 passes in the NFC Championship game. Uh, nice. So, listen. The question needs to be asked just right off the rip. Is Jimmy Garoppolo a better quarterback than Derek Carr? Is it a lateral move? Is it um, an upgrade? Here's what I'll say to that. Okay. I, you can't just ask that question straight up, like, is he better than Carr? Because the answer is no. What you have to ask is, is he more valuable to the team right now, making 40% less money than Derek Carr? Like, can you get the same output with Jimmy saving money that you were going to pay Carr to use getting other people, you know what I mean? So basically what I, where I see it is I think, like I said, you can't just say who's better, Jimmy Garoppolo or Derek Carr. I think they were smart to get rid of Derek Carr before they owed him all this money. It was unfortunate that they couldn't trade him. Uh, you know, he, he probably was being difficult about that, even though he says, oh, you could have traded me. Now I don't believe you for a single second, but that's fine. I wouldn't have done this. I would have done the same thing he did. With that being said, Jimmy Garoppolo is making significantly less money than Derek Carr, and he is a worse quarterback, yes, but he's not that much. He's not, he's not, the gap of skill level is not the gap of money. You see what I'm saying? Like, yep, I know he, exactly what you're saying. He's making, like, Jacoby Brissett money, but he's a better player than Jacoby Brissett. Correct. Jimmy Garoppolo. So Correct. I don't hate it. They've used the money, kind of. They've got now some decent dif defensive depth. They signed Jacoby Myers to fill the Darren Waller void, and we'll get into that in a second. Um, and we'll see what they do in the draft. Now, you said I think they should draft a quarterback, and I agree. But the more I watch what they're doing in free agency, getting a Jacoby Myers and sort of going all in, they, now they have two tight ends. They have Austin Hooper and O.J. Howard. They still have Hunter Renfro. They, they tag Josh Jacobs. Their offense is looking good. A part of me thinks this is going to be another year of let's see if this quarterback can do it. We're going to, with the seventh pick, we're going to take the best defensive player available and keep taking defensive pieces every single pick, stack the defense. If we win 9, 10, 11 games again to the playoffs, then maybe we can ride this thing out because Jimmy did sign a three year deal. If we suck next year, then we go draft a quarterback. Um, I don't love that because I don't know if we're going to be bad enough to have a top, what, I mean. Ten pick. Right. I mean, Caleb Williams is going to be the first pick. Then you have, like, Drake May, who's going to be, like, three or four. I don't know if we're going to be high enough to get one of those quarterbacks. And they didn't want to they, – they, they talked to the Panthers. Again, we'll talk about the Panthers soon, too, about trading up, but then they never did it. Maybe they still trade up to the Cardinals pick because the Cardinals don't need a quarterback. And they're drafting, I think, four or three. 
So I think right now they're just going to run with Jimmy and not take a quarterback, which, again, I don't love, but I don't know. <clears throat> I feel like the Raiders are, like, scared to, like, rebuild. Like, they're just like, let's win, let's win, let's win year in, year out. They're, like, afraid to just, like, start young, start fresh. I don't know why, but I just – year in, year out, I feel like it's the same thing, like you said. Like, get a quarterback, mentor him, coach him, and then in three years from now, when Jimmy's done or it's not working out, your quarterback, he's 25, you build around him. Right, and – and Jimmy has proven to be the type of person that is willing to teach the young kid. I mean, he just did it with Trey Lance. They, there were no reports of, like, issues or problems. Right, exactly. Like, when, like, it's not exactly Aaron Rodgers where we, they drafted Jordan Love and people were like, oh, look out, like, he's going to be pissed. And ultimately he was, and he kind of handled that like a normal person. That's um, just, yeah. But Jimmy, uh, yeah, I think if you start rebuilding, then it's hard to justify the Devontae trade, and he starts get, to get upset, and then you got to trade him. Exactly. Like, they exactly. wouldn't have tagged Jacobs if they were going to rebuild. You know, it's just things like that. But in my personal opinion, does Jimmy G need an offense or a defense? Well, I think he needs both, if I'm being honest with you. But, and I, well, think, I think we have the offense. If you, when you talk about offense, I think you talk about an offensive line and the backfield. The receivers don't mean as much as the line and the backfield because if he's throwing 15, 20 passes a game, your receivers aren't going to do much. But then you hand the ball off to Jacobs 25 times a game, there's your whole offense there. So what matters more, the defense or the offense? I think you, you lean towards the defense a little bit more, and I think they were like, we need offense, offense, offense this offseason. But maybe, like you said, in the draft, they, they do defense. But obviously, you know, you need offense, defense to win a Super Bowl. But Jimmy G succeeds when he has a better defense than an offense. Right. I mean, that's no, no denying that. He's had a great offense, but the defense has been unreal. And they've made up, they've covered for his flaws, which is sometimes he could air mail the ball and it's picked off. Uh, the Raiders defense is not good. It's just not good. They have some good players, but that doesn't make a good defense. Their offensive line was pretty decent last year. It 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 um it outplayed its expectation, I think. People were like, it's gonna be a disaster. And it was just kind of middle of the road. They have a great left tackle, and Josh Jacobs last year was one of the best running backs in the league. So I'm not worried about the run game and I'm not worried about the offense. I think Josh McDaniels knows how to get people open. But the defense is gonna be a problem. And again, that's where I go back to the seventh overall pick. If you have someone like a Jalen Carter, who I I know has there's there's problems right. going on with whatever whatever's going on with that, but if he ends up being okay and he falls to seven, and you could have Max Crosby, Chandler Jones, Jalen Carter, Carter on your line, uh, then then That's you start to, yeah you start right. to make me think should they take Will Levis or should they take that kid I I, I don't know, but then it's like are, is the defensive player away probably not so then you'd have to hit on the second pick it's it's a lot to it's a lot. Um, is Jalen Ramsey? I think, okay, sorry. Go ahead. What'd you say? I was just thinking about Jalen Ramsey. He's on the Dolphins, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. He's. I think he got signed, traded, traded. Whatever. Um, it is tricky for the Raiders because they are in a weird position. But I feel like depending on who you draft is going to determine what the future is for the Raiders. And they so have you drafted. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, you go. If you draft defensive player, you're just like all in, win between now and the next two, three years. If you draft a quarterback, you're like, let's see where this going. Let's let's see where this thing goes. If we do well, ride the wave, ride it. If not, we could always fall back on our franchise quarterback. Right, and ultimately, what it comes down to is you have to for God's sakes, pick a decent player with this first pick, no matter who it is. Yeah. Because they do not have a history recently. No, no way. Of drafting good players in the first round. I mean, you can go back to 
That, it's a that, killer for them. The, killer. The, the Khalil Mack trade probably set them back years, and it's hilarious because I think if you look back on who won that trade, it's not us and it's not the Bears because he's on the Chargers right now. So uh, it's it's I, I, people have listed the players. I'm not going to get into that. We know who they are. The only good first round picks they've drafted since 2018 was Colton Miller. That was a Gruden pick. Josh Jacobs. That was a Gruden pick. Um, and that's that's <laughs> that's basically it. Uh, th- this regime hasn't had a chance to take anyone with the first or second pick because of the Devontae trade. Now we're going to see the kind of philosophy they have. Are they going to take someone like Gruden and Mayock, who when they draft them, the experts on NFL Network are like, hmm, didn't see that coming. Okay, we'll see how that goes. Or are they going to take someone that goes, yeah, he should have been the seventh pick in the draft. Um, only time will tell. It's coming up soon. It's coming up in about a month. I'm nervous. If they trade up, I think that means it's a quarterback. Uh, like you said, though, like the key point is no matter who you draft, it has to be a good pick. It has to. to. It has to be. If not, then you're up, down, and nowhere to be found. Because Jimmy, no offense to Jimmy, needs all the help he can get. I mean, every quarterback does, but him in particular, when he is in a really good situation, you could win a lot of football games. I don't know if you can call the Raiders roster a really good situation. I think the the, yeah. the nicest thing you could call it is interesting. And people say, "Oh, that's interesting," when they don't really like it, but they want to, you know. Oh, you know, that's interesting. True. It was it was an interesting movie. You know what I mean? Um, so, yeah, that's where I am on that. I, I I like seeing all the videos of him walking around the the, the facility. It it like tricks you into thinking that he's like Joe Montana, and you're like, "Wow, we got a, we got a guy here," but he's just not. Hey. So we'll see what happens. 